Hello friends, welcome back to Landit Guide Tutorials. In this video, I am going to show you how to write a docker file to build our own docker images. End of this video, you will be able to understand what is docker file, why docker file is required and how to write docker file. So watch the video till the end. This is an another video from our docker and devops tutorial series. Related document and video links are mentioned in the description below. Please go through those links to understand this session much better from basics. Let's get started. What is Dockerfile? Dockerfile is a normal text file used to build our own Docker images by giving specific instructions so that we can create our own customized Docker images in an automated way without running a Docker container. Why Dockerfile is required? Why should we customize when we have uh, existing Docker images are available in Docker Hub registry? We have lot of pre-existing Docker images available in Docker Hub registry. It can be pulled directly and we can use that. But still, we may need to customize the existing Docker images based on our requirement. So, Docker file helps us to build our own Docker images automatically as per the instructions given. How to write Docker file? Simple. Create a file with file names Docker file or capital D Docker file and add the instructions based on the requirement. We have lot of instructions available to write docker file. So we must have a knowledge of these instructions and its functions. So I have given you the link below in description where already we have explained clearly about each instructions with clear examples. Let me show you how to write docker file. Assume that we need to build a docker image which run our httpd web server. Anyway, we have lot of docker images related to httpd available in docker hub registry but even we need to customize it either you use the httpd image or you can use any other centos or ubuntu on top of that image you can configure your web server so i have some of the images are already available in my docker host which are httpd customized image ubuntu centos web app so i am going to use this docker dot io centos image on top of this image i am going to build my apache web server so in the current I created a dummy web page content which will be displayed to the users who are accessing my web server. So this is my docker file. Open this docker file with some editor and define the instructions to customize this as per our requirement. The first instruction must be from the image name. We can specify these instructions in either lowercase or uppercase but we write uppercase only to differentiate the instruction and the argument. Next use maintainer instruction who is the author of this docker image so that users would be able to reach you when they need more information about this particular docker image from here only the actual customization starts so what are the tasks we would do to configure a apache web server we will install the http package and we will configure the web server with some web page content so to execute any commands on top of the container we have the instruction called run Followed by this instruction, you can give exactly, you can give the command what need to be executed. So I just give some of the commands. When you have more commands to execute, don't write lot of run instructions like this because it will create each layer for each run instructions. Also, the Docker image size will be huge. Considering that, reduce these instructions something like this. Got an idea? So here I don't need these directories and permissions will be get created by default when I install this HTTP package. So I just remove all these things. Next, we must have some web page content to be displayed to the users when they access our web server. So developers would provide those contents. For this example, already I have created a dummy index.html in the same directory which has some basic content I have shown you already. So keep those similar content in your docker host and use copy instructions to copy the related files from docker host to docker container. And where do you want to copy at the target? This is the target location. Next, we must tell the docker to listen on which port. By default, HTTPD would use port 80. 
So we have an instruction called expose to expose the network port for the container. I use 80. When you have more ports to be opened, then you can give something like this. Even you can give TCP or UDP. But here I don't want this, so I just remove. Then the last one is the actual instruction. Then the last one is the actual instruction which is going to make our container executable when the container is launched. So you don't need to start anything manually. When you run a container using this image, automatically your service will get started. So use CMD instruction to start Apache service. Similar to CMD, we have other instruction which is called entry point that also can be used. Both are for same purpose but the function is completely different. So difference of these CMD and entry point is clearly already explained and the link is mentioned below. Also, we have few more instructions available that also can be used based on our requirement. That link also given below. For now, save and exit from here and use docker build dot. This is the command to build the docker image when you have the docker file exist in the current directory. If your docker file exists in different directory, then use docker build instead of dot use the exact path. This is also fine. Let me hit enter. It's creating each docker image layer for each instructions. And finally, the docker builder has created the image and the image ID of this docker image is this is the one. So use docker images to confirm as yes, this is the one created newly. We must tag the docker image because the name won't be there until we tag that image ID. So use docker tag image ID and the name my httpd. So use again docker images. So it has been changed to this name. That's it. So we have built our own docker image. Let's run and test this customized docker image by launching the docker container. So the command is docker run hyphen d for demonize mode and hyphen it for interactive terminal session and hyphen name to define the container name. I give my web server and hyphen p to specify the network ports. So I give 80. Who are accessing this IP will be redirected to this port 80. And end of this, just specify the Docker image name. So again, hyphen D for demonize mode and hyphen IT for interactive and terminal session. Hyphen name to specify the name of the container and hyphen P to specify the IP address and listening ports with port mapping and end of that the docker image. So use docker ps to confirm the container is running or not. Yes, it's running and it's listening on port this. So whoever accessing this would be redirect to 80 of this container. Let's try accessing our web server using this URL. Go to your web browser or you can use the command curl. So we have got the web page. Let's try from web browser from other machine. This is one of my other machine. Hit enter. So we have got the same web page content. What we have created using Docker file. Hope you have got an idea how to build our own Docker images using Docker file. Going forward, we will play more with Docker tools. Keep practicing and have fun. How did you feel? Is it helpful? Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button. Share with your friends about us. Subscribe our channel to get further updates. Stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.